It would have been Noah Godleski's 13th birthday. Instead, law enforcement arrested Samariel DeBose this morning in connection with the death of that 12-year-old boy from Brevard County. DeBose and the boy's father are now facing charges. And as West Street's Michelle Meredith reports, police say the boy was beaten and left to die while his family went on a trip. This is the mugshot of Samariel DuBose, taken by law enforcement in Connecticut, where she was arrested Friday, now officially making her part of what police are calling a horrific case of child abuse, abuse they say led to the death of 12-year-old Noah Godleski. Law enforcement says Noah lived with his father, Jason Godleski, DuBose, his living girlfriend, and the boy's siblings in a house in Palm Bay. According to court records, it started in mid-October when Godleski forced his son into the laundry room where Noah stayed, isolated from the rest of the family for days. Witnesses say Godleski eventually went back into the room and beat Noah so badly the boy could be heard crying and eventually moaning. Days later, police say Godleski packed up the family, headed to Connecticut, leaving his son Noah and the family dog behind. According to police, it was Godleski himself who reported Noah's death, made a call from the lobby of the police department, explained where to find his son's lifeless body. He's in the first door on your right when you walk through the front door and have the key. Yeah. There's also a dog there, so if I want to get someone there for the dog. Yeah. All right, and why didn't you call 911? I, I'm just... So do you know how he passed away, or...? No, no. I know you guys are going to come down here and take me away, but can I just smoke a cigarette real quick? Police say DuBose didn't call 911 either. Both are facing multiple charges, including aggravated manslaughter of a child. Noah's family wants you to know this. He loved to draw, loved the ocean, wanted to go to Yale, wanted to be a policeman or FBI agent, and that on this Friday, Noah would have turned 13 years old. In Brevard County, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News. Palm Bay Police Department will now work to extradite DeBose to Florida. The boy's father is in Brevard County Jail with no bond.